Here I'm going to show saturation and unsaturation testing in oils by adding bromine to any kind of oil. So I have some vegetable oil here. I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pour a little bit into this test tube here. Pour a lot. So bromine will react with a double bond and an alkene without any catalyst. And so what I can do is I can take some bromine water, which has bromine in it, and add it to this, and if, there are, if there's unsaturation in this, then automatically that bromine should kind of react with it, and, and therefore you'll see that color disappear. So when I put that in there, you can see the orangish brownish color. Now, the water that the bromine is currently in is insoluble with the oil, but when I mix it, the two can react. So I can get this to go. Which is difficult because it's so dense. And as I get that to spin more and more, what you'll see is, is that brown color is starting to disappear. And it's disappearing because the bromine is adding to the various double bonds that are in that vegetable oil. And so what we conclude from that is that that vegetable oil had unsaturation in it. Well, let's try that again, with, this time with a different oil, and hopefully I don't overfill here. So here's some olive oil. Set that there. So same thing again, I'm going to take some bromine water and add it to the olive oil. Okay, and again, you can see the bromine at the very bottom. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shake it. And as I shake it, that brown color is going to fade. So we can say it faded a little bit there. We still got a little bit left at the bottom. I continue to shake it, though. And now there is no more brown color. Okay, so that shows that our olive oil had a, an unsaturation to it. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is as I'm doing this, that the consistency of the oil is changing. So I'm going to set that down there for a second. I'm going to pour some olive oil back into a second container to compare what I have now with what I had then. As I'm changing the saturation, I'm changing the interactions between the molecules. And so this is starting to kind of grease up quite a bit into a solid kind of clumpy form because the saturated forms have better intermolecular forces with each other. The kinks in the double bonding, that kind of planar section, uh, makes it difficult for multiple oils to interact. This is why most oils are liquids and, and most greases are, are solid at regular temperature and pressure. So you can see that difference by adding the bromine and removing that unsaturation that we're getting in there. All right, and let's try peanut oil. So here's my peanut oil. I'm going to set that in here for a second so I can grab some bromine. Okay, so there's our bromine at the bottom. Here's our peanut oil. We're going to shake. And that was very clear to start. So it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Let's keep going. So our brown color is gone, but you can see again that the, the consistency has changed by adding that much bromine to it. Now at some point, if I continue to add bromine and continue to add bromine, at some point all of the unsaturations will get used up and I'll be left with the brown color remaining. However, at the same time, I'm also getting some solidification going on here that's making that a little difficult to achieve. So maybe there we're getting that excess bromine there. That does not look like it's going away. And to check that, we're going to add a little more bromine again. And see if we've kind of reached a point where we now have an excess of bromine. 
It looks like I can see that color kind of persisting and then settling down to the bottom here. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just taking a little bit of time. And now definitely we kind of have that white, milky, fat kind of substance that we're used to seeing for greases. This one could take eight years to finish. Alright, let's try this one. So if you can see this, I've kind of got a layer of solid here that's blocking my bromine from mixing well. Let's actually get this in here and kind of get to work. So there we go, it looks like a lot of unsaturation in this olive oil. Just go ahead and pour some bromine in there. So bromine is, is able to react with the electrons in the in the pi bond of the alkene really well because bromine is something that's very electrophilic. Other things that are not as electrophilic are not able to do so. So, so if you have hydrogen or something else, you probably will need an acid catalyst. These I'm just literally mixing the oils with some bromine, and that's it. Because there's water there as well. So we can see quite a bit of unsaturation even after all that bromine. I'm still getting to that point.